hello guys welcome once again to my vlog it's been a long time i've missed you guys i've not done any much recording and editing in a very long time so uh had the opportunity to get out my camera uh while i was in liverpool with some friends i did some recording and i'm trying to share it with you guys yeah guys this has been planned for a while now so uh we just arriving on the saturday some of them have been here on what? friday uh, which was the original no, no, just plan. and uh, we couldn't get time off work so we had to join them on saturday um, so we drove all the way down here it took us about two hours and 45 minutes to drive up from gloucester to liverpool uh it was a long drive a lot of roadworks on the road so um it took us about approximately two hours 45 minutes but the traffic was really good so it, there wasn't a lot of delays on the road although there was some uh speed 50 uh at, at some points uh on the m6 uh, hopefully soon as soon as they finish that road is gonna be uh it will be faster to get to liverpool i didn't know liverpool was this beautiful it's my first time being in Liverpool and uh, I really love it. <laughs> yeah as you can see there's a lot of people in town uh, there's a lot of uh, people doing their hand night there was a lot of uh, guys around for the stack dues and uh some 18th birthday 40s birthday uh different people celebrating different things yes at the moment we're trying to locate our hostel uh we did rent a hostel which works out quite cheaper because we had uh, a lot of guys coming uh it cost us about 35 quid each which is not too bad um I'm, i stayed for the night so it, it only cost me 35 quid for the night so uh the rest of the guys that stayed two days paid about uh 70 quid for two nights it wasn't long until we got to a hostel it was just around the corner so it wasn't too hard to find uh, we checked in uh, put our bags down and headed out straight away uh, we were told some of the guys were uh, at the docks we we're lucky uh, the prince of wales uh, aircraft carrier was docked down there so there was a lot of people going to see it Yeah, one thing I noticed about uh, this uh, lane was that all the pubs were open already well, the and it was barely uh, 10 o'clock. The is open already this time. Yeah, that's like a studio bag. Where the Beatles are different. I am the Eggman. They are the Eggman. I am the Warrior. Yeah, it was a very cold morning. Uh, it was very windy as well. Uh, from the weather forecast, they said the uh, storm Huhe, I think that's what it was called, uh, was uh, just around the corner. So uh, we were expecting a lot of windy uh, day, but it was really, really good because the sun was out, so we didn't really uh, feel it. But in 
times of coldness, it was very, very cold that morning. Yeah, guys, as we got closer to the docks, you, the wind was so strong that you could even hear it on the video. Yeah, there was a lot of presence of the army on the like they came out for recruiting uh, they came out with a lot of equipment uh, from the rifles to the javelins uh, to some exercise equipment uh, I saw the sharpshooter uh, it was the first time for me to handle it uh, I've seen it but I've really not handled it and I've not shot the sharpshooter before uh, I saw the rough sniper rifle as well uh, which was very nice um, I heard it weighs about 11 kilos yeah and uh, which is quite heavy to be honest uh, in terms of uh, carrying the rifle through a battlefield um, it was really a nice uh, walking around seeing stuff and uh, exploring I thought you were all about the whole, do you know what, if she's fit, I'll, I'll go that way. Not, I'm in a relationship and I'm a serious lover. Yes, guys, this was the climax of the night to see Liverpool lose, and the celebrant is a Liverpool fan. He was so angry that Liverpool lost, and I was so loving it. Uh, it was a cracking night. And, uh, <laughs> Yes, after this game, uh, we went out from one pub to the other. Unfortunately, guys, I couldn't get out my phone to do some recordings. I did miss a lot of uh, events. Uh, it was really, really a good night, and I was partly drunk to be able to record anything, to be honest. And, uh, yeah.